Good morning, friends, right? Beautiful, beautiful Thursday morning. Um, lots of stuff to talk about. Super excited. First thing is, big shout out to my beautiful wife. They got me a new coffee cup. Way bigger, holds more coffee, so the videos will be faster paced, a little bit more aggressive than they have been. I want to talk about this Sunday. We have what we're dubbing the Long Game Olympics. What, what is it, guys? It's a chance for you to come into the gym and essentially hang out and network and bullshit and play some long games, have a bite to eat, maybe have a drink. I'll touch on that in a second. But there's a reason why we do these things. One of the acronyms I have on the board right behind us is B, I, and G. B stands for the books you read, G stands for goals. The middle letter is I, the individuals you surround yourself with, right? That is a huge part of where you will be in one year, three years, five years, and ten years, right? So I like to believe that we have a phenomenal facility with a lot of like-minded individuals, a lot of small business owners, a lot of professionals. So giving everybody an opportunity to come together, not necessarily to work out, but just to kind of hang out and chit chat and talk and get to know somebody you don't know. Maybe you find out so-and-so has a profession that you've actually been trying to find somebody that does that. Or you just get a chance to network and talk to a bunch of other people. The social interaction is really, really, really important, right? I was watching a, um, a video this morning they were talking about it and he was really, really uh, blunt about it. He said you should essentially go home and find your one shittiest friend or relative and cut them off the vine, right? That one person that is just, they're always negative. They're always, they have a reason why you shouldn't be doing what you're doing. Even if they're positive things, that person is like, uh, it's like a weed in the garden. Pull that person out and get the hell rid of them. And then replace them with somebody that is aspiring to do positive things. Somebody that you know um, wants to grow and has a growth mindset and is doing big things, right? So you're, you're weeding the garden, and it can be hard, right, to be like, man, I've grown up with this person. They're my, they're my best friend, but at the end of the day, if they're what I call like a time suck, they're stealing the energy from you, and they're not, they're not giving much back to you, and every time you leave them, you can tell. Every time you leave them, you just feel like worn down a little bit. You feel like they took energy from you versus that person that when you talk to them, you're like, man, I feel motivated. I want to do something bigger than what I'm doing now. I have a new goal. I want to get after that, right? So it can be hard to do, but I would highly recommend, you know, thinking who is out there that is, is that, that weed in the garden that maybe we've got to pluck and kind of cast off to the side. And again, the individuals that you surround yourself with have shown time and time and time again that you end up becoming the average of the five people you spend the most time with, right? So if you're if you have these goals of wanting to do these big things, but you're hanging out with people that are doing subpar things and they're they're not there, you've got to find a new group of people to be around, right? So yeah, it just looks like oh, John wants somebody to come down and play can jam. That's cool. I'll be there playing can jam, but it's a chance to interact with other people that are doing good things, right? Think about the other stuff that's going on in the community. You've got um, Colin three one five K for the cure. We've got Eric Jacobson that's been doing stuff recently for um, the foundation that he works with. There's a lot of really, really good stuff going on. And it gives you a chance to network with these people and surround yourself with these people, positive people that want to see you do good things. So this Sunday, what it is, is at, uh, I think we're kicking off at 11, as we'll have a bunch of long games, can jam, cornhole, um, uh, ladder golf, all that different stuff. We'd love for you guys to bring down some food. Um, if you want to label what's in it, obviously that's great. Somebody had asked about drinks. Guys, we're all adults. You can see there's a, a bottle of Tito's in that back fridge right there. Um, if you want to have a drink or two, I'm okay with that, but it is not going to be a fall down. Um, you know, we're, not, we're not turning the gym into a bar. So if you want to have a drink, I'm okay with that. Uh, we'll be all, all responsible adults. You need an Uber, you get an Uber, no big deal. But what I want from it is a chance to sit down and have some conversations with people that maybe you don't get a chance to talk to. You're like, man, I didn't realize so-and-so was a carpenter. I didn't realize so-and-so did this for a living. Or, you know, just a chance to engage other individuals, again, and pick their brains a little bit. Get a chance to talk and hang out. So, again, that acronym is B, the books you read or the books you don't read. I, the individuals you surround yourself with, which is what I focus this you know, video about, 
And then G, the goals you have or the goals that you don't have. And I can tell you right now that I've seen in my last three years of my life that B, I, and the G 100% take me to a new place that I've never been to and that I'm excited to go because of those things. So books you read or you don't read, the individuals you surround yourself with or the ones that you should that you should probably throw cast to the side a little bit, and then G, the goals you have or you don't have. So guys, have a great day. I look forward to seeing you guys on Sunday. If you don't know, Monday is, is a holiday, which is why we're doing it on Sunday. If you have any questions, please let me know. Please bring a dish to pass. I look forward to seeing a bunch of you guys there.